Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is my Karanoma story. Okay, today is the day three. Today is the third of August. Now, what am I going to talk about today? Well, I thought I'd talk about how I've had a few people ask me how do I survive with a cavern with the issues that I have? How do I stay so positive? Now, I may look positive um, on the outside, but deep down inside me, I'm screaming, <laughs> I'm crying, I'm nervous, all those feelings into one person. So it's look, it's not easy. I will admit it's not easy. And um, but as time progresses, it does get easier. And I generally admit say that. Um it does get easier as time goes by. The reason for that is that like after I've had a bleed, it's in my, it's in my mind more. I'm worrying about things. Um, worried about the people I love. Um, worried about what's gonna happen to me. But as time goes on, um, those feelings kind of um die down. They they go away, and the real me shines through. Now, it's. Everybody knows what kind of person I am. Um, and that's because they know me. That's because people have known me before I had a brain bleed or a hemorrhage, so to say. So, um, look, it's, it is tough. Um, it's very tough times. Um, it's something that I can get over and I do get over and I will be able to get on my life in a much more positive way than I have been as of late. Things are improving slowly and um, my walking is improving. I'll be showing that in a video at some stage in the future. So stay post, stay, stay um, subscribed and um, keep my eye out for that. There is um, there's a misconception out there that when I say misconception, um, people don't realize that when you have a brain bleed, It scares the shit out of you and it puts so many thoughts through your head. It makes you very tired. And when I say tired, you know what I mean tired. And um, you've some people I've heard some people don't have the energy to lift a leg or even get out of bed. Thankfully I've never got to that stage. I get tired at times and it feels like your brain is kind of um, been overloaded and you just don't have the energy that you used to have and that's very frustrating. There is um, You're also not as quick doing 
like when I say not as quick, um, your brain doesn't react as fast as it used to. And sometimes that people recover, some people do, some people don't. And in my case, I don't know because, well, I've improved a little bit. I'm quick off the mark in a lot of things. It's, I think the last few weeks, despite all the things that I've been going through, there's been a lot of improvement in me. And I think I'm becoming a better person than I was, say, six months to a year ago. Um, there's, it, I just feel different. If I, if, I, if 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 you, if you understand what I'm saying, um, it's just yes, I'm not as mobile as I used to, but I can't change that for now. Um, as you, as everybody knows, there is housing crisis in Ireland. So, <laughs> here's a real funny thing, right? I rang the, Dublin, the South Dublin County Council and I inquired how long was the waiting list. And the man who answered the phone said, um, 11, 12 years. Yeah, I just laughed. Um, anyway, that's, and then I rang the Wakelow County Council and their waiting list is about 10 years. So, um, yeah, it's, it's gone crazy. It's got worse. It hasn't got better. No, don't believe anything anyone says to you. It's not got better. It's gotten worse. There's, um, all the, like, what's actually happened is that there's, what well, I think what's happened is that a lot of people have come back from abroad and a lot of young people have grown up and so now they want houses but because the majority of houses that are out there are priced way above the average income so which is but the problem is that when you have your sights on buying a house. In the meantime, you have to rent. And then you have to save on top of the rent. Unfortunately, because the price, the cost of renting is so high and the cost, they say if that couple have one child or two children or whatever, it doesn't matter. And one example, one example, I know a girl, she has one baby, one, well, one child now, one child grown up, and she cannot take, she cannot save because she is paying rent and she's paying for a crush and she's paying for cars. To get a car, you've got to have insurance. You've got to have road tax. You've got to have NCT. You've got to get the car service. You've got to get food. You've got to pay for television. You've got to pay for broadband. You've got to pay for electricity. All those bills mount up. Now, it's getting very, it's making it very difficult for anybody anybody to save money unless you're earning I don't know uh, huge money like 100 grand a year or even more and um, it's getting very difficult to save money and as a result more and more people are going for social houses and that's why the wait list have got so big Now the governments, the government and the councils and 
all the all the necessary bodies are all what I think is going to happen is that they're all going to get the error. They're all realizing that oops, or this country is in the shits. Um, we need to house all these people. We need we need to do something here because it's getting in. It's getting unsustainable. So. There's going to be a lot of panic building going on. That's what I think. And they're going to build all these apartment blocks. They're going to build all these houses just so they can get the waiting list down. And then at the end of it, they're going to, they're going to realize that hmm, maybe we shouldn't have built all these houses because um, it's putting too much demand on other thing, resources. Um, so it's catch me too. You either do something or you don't. Now, unfortunately, something has to be done. And I think what they're going to do or what, what's the best option for now is they're going to build um, apartment blocks. But I hope they don't build too many apartment blocks. And I hope they build like three story apartment blocks, plenty of them, like loads of them. If they build a 15 story apartment block, that's that's gone crazy. That, oh, that's the wrong way. I think that's the wrong way. They should build loads of say three Store four, three or four story apartment blocks. That's what I think they should do. There's a few, there's a number of them in South Dublin, here in Ireland. So um, anyway, I'm I'm moving off the subject topic. Um, my cavernoma. Um, yeah, it gets easier as time goes by. It's just very difficult at the moment. Um. But as I said, some things are getting a lot easier. And um, when I get when I when I do eventually get somewhere, I can get out more and I can do more and I yeah I can do more, and I'm looking forward to that. There's um. As most of you know, I have a son and he's two and a half. So I want to do more for him. So, um, like I want him to grow up and realize that his dad has done as much as he can do instead of just sitting at home and waiting for something, like waiting for him to grow up. Um, I want to be there, take pressure off his mother, take pressure off his family, um, and just to help, as all fathers do. So, look, I, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, going, I'm going back to the way I was before I had the bleed. Um, I am, I know it's taking time, and it's that's the frustrating part about this. It does take time to get over these brain acquired brain injuries, as they're called. But I'm I'm back, and um, bring it on. <laughs> so um, what I'll do, as I said, I'm gonna do a video every week. Um, I will aim to continue doing that. Um, keep, so keep in touch. Get subscribed if you're not subscribed. And I mean that, please. And share this video out to all your friends. Let's spread the word. There's, um, 
loads of people out there that had brain acquired brain injuries and they need to know that they're not alone and that if anyone wants to contact me feel free to contact me if there's anything i can do for you i will do what i can um yeah if there's anything i do for you like just listen to you then just contact me and we can take them there but um yeah i'll leave it like i'll leave it this for this week um the ken ken is back ken is becoming a better person and that's going back to the way he was before i had the bleed it's taking time but i will get there and i'll keep improving it's all these things take time to get over and then um, yeah all these things take time to get over so keep in touch get subscribed if you're not click that like button and um, I'll see you all next week. So, thank you. Bye.